All right. So there we have got uh, some other graphs that we need to consider. Uh, remember, we had our introduction working with these typical graphs of this nature that you can draw uh, any of this type of a graph using the table method. Uh, and also there are some adjustments that can be made if you are using uh, the dual intercept method. So in this case, I'm just going to quickly explain using the table method. So we are given the first graph of y is equal to 3x. So if you are to consider, uh, I think we had a similar question like this. So if you are not given a table, you have to consider like also the output. If you insert any of these input values, remember x represents the input values. So if you insert a number such as minus eight, you must also consider what is going to happen. Like when you substitute that number, y is equal to three times the x being minus eight. If you multiply, this is going to give us something like a, uh, minus 24, which is not part of our graph. As you can see, y is limited to minus eight. So that does not mean you must take every number that you see on the x values. You must take the values that are also appropriate. When I'm saying appropriate, I mean the value that you're supposed to choose is supposed to give you an output, which is also part of your graph. And I also said you can choose three points, they are enough. So in this case, if I was to consider points such as negative three, uh, maybe zero and three, those points, I think they can work. We have got, uh, all right, nine we do not have. Minus nine we do not have. So as you can see, guys, in this case, we were very, very limited. So you can even choose minus two, zero, and two. All right, that's your choice. So that is... Uh, we're going to choose these values, uh, which can be uh, enough in order for us to have our graph. So we're just going to have quickly uh, these values. Remember, you need the X and also the output of Y. So like I said, three, they are actually enough for you to have a line. So you can consider, like I said, minus two, uh, zero, and two. You can use even minus one, zero, just... In within these uh, from minus two to, to two, we can have the output because if you use minus three and you multiply three times minus three, you get minus nine. When y is minus nine, you do not have minus nine there. So you must avoid uh, those numbers that do not have or do not correspond. All right, so this is it. We're just going to substitute. If x is minus 2, you substitute y is equal to 3 times x being minus 2. So in place of x, you substitute minus 2. 3 times minus 2, that's a minus 6. So you're going to do the same thing for all of these values. If x is equal to a 0 like that, you substitute in place of x. So in this, you're going to substitute a 0 there. That means 3 times 0 is what? That's a 0, okay? The same thing, if our x is two, we're gonna substitute a two, three times two, which is gonna give us a six. So that means there we are going to obtain a six. So when you're given this, it is just a direct part and you need to mark the points. Remember I was saying the points, this is minus two versus minus six. It represents the x and the y value. So be careful, the x versus what? the y value. So it's x versus y. When x is minus two, y is minus six. So we need where x is minus two and where y is minus six. They meet, as you can see here, minus two going down, minus six going this side. They do meet at a certain point. Where they meet, that's where you mark the point, guys. The minus six in x, I mean the minus two in x, this one, and the minus six in y, they meet here. That is where you mark your point. So that's minus two versus minus six. Okay, another point, that's zero, zero. When x is zero, y is zero. That is at the origin here. That's zero, zero here. 
where the x-axis and the y-axis meet. That is the point zero zero. Then another one is two, six. When x is two, y is six. So that is two here and y is going to be a six. So they meet also if you get here at, at the top at that point. So this is two in x, six in y, they meet here. So that is the most important part. X is given as two, positive two. Y is given as positive six. So they meet, they are not meeting this side. As you can see, there's no two this side. They meet where this one as it is going up here and this one when it is going here, they meet at that point. So where they meet, that is where you mark the point. Two versus six, that's it. So with these three points, we can draw a straight line passing through at the points that we are given. So in this case, you are going to join uh, using your ruler, all right? So you're going to join using your ruler, the points that are shown on your Cartesian plan. So that's this point, this point, and this point, you join them as producing a straight line, just like that. All right, so that was our line equation of y is equal to 3x. So if you consider with the same method, uh, you can also consider of y is equal to x, of which I talked about this type of a line of y is equal to x. y is equal to x. y and x, they are equal. So there you are not even calculating anything when you are saying y and x, they are equal. What is it that, what is it that you actually mean when you say y is equal to x? or x is equal to y. It means they're just the same. If x is equal to two, y is also equal to two. If x is equal to zero, y is also equal to zero. They are exactly the same. So there, choosing the values of your choice, if you can use the, this one, the minus two, uh, the zero and the two, the x values from your Cartesian plan. Here, you're gonna choose any of your choice. Three, they are enough. So it depends with the way that you are given before. So that is, if x is minus two, you substitute a minus two here, y is also minus two. If x is a zero, y is also a zero. If x is two, y is also equal to two. Guys, these values, they must be equal because y and x are the same. So let's start with the point minus two, minus two. When X is minus two, Y is also minus two. So like I said, you need a condition on the X values first. X is minus two, Y is also minus two. As you can see, they meet here. You check here, they meet at that point. Minus two in X and a minus two in Y meets here. Where they meet, you mark a point. So that's minus two, minus two. Another point is given as zero, zero. That is the origin, just like this one. There is the origin that is at zero, zero here. Uh, the other point was given as what? Two versus two. When X is two, Y is also two. When X is two, Y is also two. So they meet here on top here. That is where these two points are going to meet. When X is two, Y is to they meet there. Where they meet, that's where you mark your point. So with these points, it is enough for us to draw a straight line passing through these three points that we are seeing here. So you're going to join using your ruler in that case. All right, so you're going to obtain a graph of this nature. All right, sorry for that. Something like this passing through the three given points, and as you can see, it's gonna be a continuous line, something like that. All right, so make sure that you use your ruler. Yeah, it's unfortunate uh, that I'm not having a loss. I'm just gonna present it this way. So like this, you have got the line of y is equal to x, this one passing through the three given points that we had. So this is what you're going to do throughout. Throughout, you're going to have this condition even on the line of y is equal to two x, you're going to have the same thing, just like what you had on this other part. All right, so let's consider to say if it is y is equal to two x, I'm not, I'm not gonna change 
these values, guys, I'm just going to use same values of x, the x values that we chose there. So this is x versus y, and I'm going to choose the same values as before, uh, the minus 2, the 0, and the 2. So you do substitute just like the previous case. You substitute when x is minus 2, 2 times minus 2, that is going to be minus 4. If x is a 0 here, 2 times a 0, that's a 0. If x is a 2, 2 times a 2 is a 4, just like that. So you mark your points. The x, uh, let's start to the first one, minus 2 versus minus 4. If x is minus 2 here, y is minus 4, All right? So that is it. Minus 2, y is minus 4. They meet here. Where they meet, you mark a point. So you are going to mark a point here. Minus 2 versus minus 4. You mark your point there. Uh, 0, 0, that is our origin. So it is just going to be at that point, 0, 0. Then 2 versus 4, when x is 2, y is a 4 here. So that is the meet going up here. This one here, they meet at this point. Where these two points meet, you are going to mark it like that. So that is, we can produce a straight line passing through the three points that we have indicated there. So you're going to join passing through the three points that we are having there. All right, so we're going to have something of this nature at the end. So that is the graph of y is equal to 2x. That is our graph there. So with this concept, you can answer any question. So as you can see, uh, the D part, this one, it is a repetition of the same line of y is equal to 3x. We had this one here, so you're just going to repeat same line. Uh, but there we also have that one of y is equal to minus x. I think I also talked about this in the previous class. So for y is equal to minus x, we also need a table that we can consider there, just x and y values. Three values for x are enough for us to use this. So you can even choose uh, the minus two, those ones that we used before, the minus two, zero, and the two. So let's start if x is minus two. But in place of x, you're going to substitute a minus two. That is y is equal to. Already there's a minus that we are given. So this is minus, then x is minus two. The minus is part of the formula, part of the equation. Then x is given as a minus two. So when you say minus and minus here will give us a plus two. So this will be a positive two. We move on to the next value. If x is equal to zero, you substitute. So that's minus a zero like this. But as you know that, we do not have a minus zero or a plus zero. Zero is just a zero like that. So plus or minus zero is just a zero. So you cannot write a minus zero. It is just a zero there. If x is two, you do the same thing. Y is equal to minus. There's a minus first, minus first. You substitute the value of x, which is two. So minus times two, that is minus two. So x was going to be a minus two. So with these points, we are simply going to mark them and have our line drawn, meaning to say, uh, let's start with the minus two versus two, x, remember, versus y. x is minus two, but y is positive two. So as you can see, these ones, we're going to meet at this point. That is where you mark the point where they meet. Minus two in x, positive two in y. Another point that's zero, zero there about the origin, two versus minus two, two versus minus two in y, they meet at this point. These points are enough for us to produce or to draw a straight line. So using your ruler, you are going to uh, join uh, the points that we are given here. So you join uh, the points, uh, you join this uh, using your ruler, passing through the points that you indicated there. So you're going to have something 
of this nature. All right, just sorry. There's gonna be something of this nature. I just hope uh, this is not gonna affect us. Yeah. You know, this software is guys, um, just wanted it to be a little bit here, uh, something like this. It is not exactly the way I wanted it to be. Uh, but just for the sake of revision, I think we can say, so it was gonna pass through those points, that is y is equal to a minus x. So that is the same thing that you are going to use on this one of y is equal to minus 2x. You're going to use the same concept, uh, same idea. Uh, in this case, we're going to have uh, the x and y values. All right, so let's have something like this, minus 2, 0, and 2. So that's it. So if we substitute our x values, y is equal to minus 2 times x, and our x there is minus 2. So that's a minus 2. Minus 2 times minus 2, that's a positive 4. All right, if x is a 0, any number times 0, that's a 0. All right, then if x is 2, that will be minus 2x, which is minus 2 times a 2. Minus 2 times 2. That is a minus four. So there you are going to have a negative four. So these points are enough. Minus two and a four. Okay, when x is minus two, y is positive four. So that's minus two here. Uh, y is positive four. They meet here on top here. This is where they are going to meet. So that's minus two versus four. Uh, the zero, zero, that is about the origin. Uh, two versus minus four when X is two, Y is minus four, they also do meet here. So if you check, they were going to meet at this point. So we have got three points, this point, this point, this point that we are going to simply uh, join. By joining these points, we are having a straight line so that is it in that case all right so that was gonna be something of this nature just need to join your points uh proper so that's it we can even write the equation uh y is equal to minus 2x so that is what we were going to have at the end uh remember this one of y is equal to positive 3x is the same as this one that we had here. So it was going to have uh, the same table, same way or the same line. So you can even try that one out uh, and see. So these are the typical questions that we are going to have. And I'm going to have the WhatsApp group link uh, uh, in the description so that also we can be able to join our WhatsApp group for more discussions.